Hello and welcome back to Azure Terraformer. Today I wanted to talk about three tips for writing nested for expressions. Before I get started, if you enjoy my channel and you enjoyed content like this, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. Also consider channel membership. Uh, it's a new great way to show your support for the channel and to announce to the world officially that you are an Azure Terraformer. I've encountered quite a few of these little nasty um, parsing scenarios where yeah, you know, it's like, man, I got this, I got, I got this golden data that I really, I really want to use this data, but um, I don't want to, I don't want to go through all this trouble of like pre-processing it outside of Terraform and then piping it in. Um, can I just like load this file and like jam, jam it in there? So, um, very, uh, I, so I can't say it's like a super common scenario, but when you run into it, if you know the approach to take and you know how to handle uh, nested for expressions and you understand, you know, what these, the, the importance of these uh, wrapper, uh, you know, the, the wrapper uh, character, like whether you use a square brace or a curly brace, drastically changes the behavior of your for expression in HCL. Uh, it's really, really important to pay very close attention, uh, whether you're writing your own code to do nested for expressions or you're reading somebody else's code um, that and they are happening. They happen to be doing nested for expressions. It's super, super important that you pay very close attention to what characters wrap that for expression because it changes the output. And as you can see here, the output is really important to know because its output feeds up into the parent. If you don't understand the relationship between this for expression and this for expression, and, and you don't know what the output of each of these expressions is and what it expects to have, you're going to have problems. It's, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult for you. Um, and then uh, another thing for writing good for expressions is make sure that you identify plurality versus singularity. So when I'm iterating off on a, an individual item, I call it with a sing, I give it a singular name continent. That just helps me when I'm referencing it in the future, um, inside my nested for expression. Um, how, how should I be dealing with this thing? Is this a string? Is this thing a list? And likewise, um, using a plural name, whenever something's a map or a list will help you so that when you're writing the next layer of for expression, you can reference it appropriately. So I, inside of my cities map, I have individual city nodes. Each city has a details collection. Um, and then inside for each detail element within that details collection, I can go grab the range off of that detail. That's like the naming conventions that you need to follow. Don't use K, V, blah, blah, A, B, C. Like try and create some meaning behind the references that you create within your four expressions to make life easier on yourself so that when you go back and read this later, it kind of it kind of makes sense and you can you can read it like a human in English. Anyways, I, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you like this content, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. It really helps out a lot. And also consider channel membership. It's a great way to support the channel to make sure that I can keep pumping out content like this. I just got my Azure bill the other day uh, and uh, I definitely need to work on some FinOps content to, you know, batten down the hatches and make sure I'm not just burning cash because uh, I do all of my demo work on my own personal Azure subscriptions. Um, and so sometimes I forget to, you know, delete the VM. Sometimes I forget to do, hit the destroy and just like anybody else. And, uh, it costs me money. So, um, this is a labor of love. Uh, any, any, any support that you can give really helps out a lot, um, to counteract some of my, uh, some of my Azure bills and, uh, and all that. So. Uh, I also have uh, additional levels of engagement. Uh, so there's the Code Ninja Squad. So if, if you want to get first in line to my code reviews and work a little bit closer with me at that level, um, you can join as a Code Ninja. And uh, also there is the Inner Circle, where if you want to uh, have a one-hour virtual one-on-one session with me each month, 
um, you can join the inner circle and that will be available to you. And we can sit down one-on-one -on -one and work through your problems together. Anyways, that's it for me. This is the Azure Terraformer signing off.